I'm Anna Aby. I'm Kylie Long. I'm Charles Smith. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Tribe Time. Time. know that FBLA is doing a brand new fundraiser? Let's go check it out. I'm the president of FBLA and this Valentine's Day we are doing flowers and chocolate covered strawberries. So we'll be selling them during lunches from Monday, February 6th all the way to the 10th, so that's Friday. Doing small bundles, large bundles, and then just separately the flowers and the chocolate covered strawberries. So come out and get it. Don't forget, we have a lot of people going to states this year, so states are expensive and we want them to go to nationals. So this will support FBLA people going to states along with just FBLA in general. I'm Colby Weibel and I qualified first place in Kevin. My name is Sadie Hall and I qualified second place for job interview. My name is Alexia Metzner, I qualify first place for client service. I'm Jordan Benke and I qualified first place for help desk. Hi, my name is Hannah Haidt and I placed first in international business. Hi, my name is Kelly DeLauder and I got first place for broadcast journalism. Hi, I'm Maddie Rufel, I got first in publication design. My name is Brenna, I placed first in healthcare administration. Everybody. I'm John Eiler. I'm going to show you guys how to fold a paper airplane for the pep rally. So the first thing you guys need to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it hot dog style towards the middle. After you have that, you're going to open the paper back up and then fold each of the corners in towards the middle against the line you created. After that, you're going to fold it one last time, taking the corner again, and you're going to fold down against the line in the middle a second time. After that, fold the paper up into each other so that way the creases are on the inside, and then you're going to make your wings by just folding the top part down against the bottom. And then here's your paper airplane. Throw it. Pep rally. Pep rally. Pep rally. Pep rally. Part about the swim team? Uh, probably the bus rides. What are you looking forward to most for the rest of the season? Um, I'm really looking forward to mid pens and districts. All the girls just got in their new tech suits, so we're all excited. And what meet are you looking forward to most? Um, the meet that we just did for the spring is probably the most exciting meet, but our next meet coming up in like two weeks is our mid pens meet, and that's going to be the best meet by far. The girls team is 10 and out and the guys team is 7 and 2. Good luck to the rest of your season. I'm in the big leagues. Tony don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston. Ayy, feelin' like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding a road, y'all, I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all, got hits when he throwin' the fastball 
Just too quick for it. Peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort this piss poor. I got. Uh, I think the season's going pretty well. We, uh, we're looking to finish probably 17 and 10. All right, overall, we've got several kids, uh, at least four kids, and I'm looking to get to about uh, you know at least 25 or 30. We have three kids right now with 25 wins. Hope to get them to about 30. It would. Um, sectionals is coming up. All right, so we got you know some big hopes for uh, you know at least five of the kids, maybe six. The Maybe make it through sectionals. All right, it would be nice um, to get five kids at least to districts, and then from there we got a couple kids. Like I said, gonna have like 30, 30 plus wins. I'd like to see at least one kid get the state this year. I'm here with Sally Misselino. Michael Skian. How many matches do you guys? We have four left. What are you looking most forward to? Probably either today's against Greencastle because we've played them before, or next week we have a double header match, so technically two matches in one. Um, probably today's against Greencastle since we lost them earlier this year. It would be nice if we won it on this time. You know. What do you think your biggest improvement is as a player? Um, me personally, probably uh, just gauging length. Like how to like how far to roll it, you know, just like switching up everything. Probably just working better as a team because we're definitely, I mean like, none of us have really been on a team all together in one until this year. So it's nice to see that we've just been through working together. And we can definitely tell that it's a match. So how do you feel your season is going so far? Um, I think we start a little rough with running offense, but it's getting much better. I feel it's been pretty good. We've had some ups and downs, but I think we've had more ups. I think our season has gone exceptionally well for the fact that we've overcome many challenges. What are your hopes for the second half of the season? Um, I hope that we can continue to run our press really well and that we can win some more games. I hope we just win more games and Beat the teams that I feel that we should have beaten the first time. And who is your basketball idol? Um, I've definitely got to say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. LeBron James. I feel like overall we've had a pretty good season. Right now we've got five wins, which is more than we've had in prior years. Uh, we won a Christmas tournament. That's something we really wanted to do. Uh, this past week we beat uh, West Perry. Uh, earlier in the season we had left that victory slipped through our hands so we kind of avenged that loss. Offensively I think we've had different kids stepping up each game. Uh, Nikki Davis just does a good job. She's consistent each night giving us um, just solid performances offensive and defensively and does a great job handling the ball. Um, recently Slade and Fisher and Kiki Pryor have stepped up um, and given us a boost offensively.
Kingsborough Indians boys basketball team is looking to cap off an already great season with a great stretch end off this year. Let's go look at some of the highlights already from this year, along with some of the thoughts from some coaches and some players on their favorite moments from the season and expectations for the rest of the year. Stay tuned. been through our league once. Um, I'd like to see us improve on how we play because um, now teams will, those teams will start adjusting to what we do. Um, so can we do it and dictate what we're doing versus just running it? Um, and in the last two weeks we have what I consider two big JV games that um, kind of a 6A level that I'm hoping that we can really show um, our best at that point. Expectations the rest of your while. Like, it's hard not to um, let your mind start to wander a little bit and, and um, think about the possibilities. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm choosing to live on a day by day basis. So we just need to continue to try to get better. And uh, because if, you know, we had some goals at the beginning of the season and um, to reach those, uh, it means we have to go and, and uh, not only. Um, face but then defeat some really really good teams and so if you get too far ahead of yourself and you start thinking about those games instead of um, the ones that are right in front of you the next day or the next practice that's that's a uh, that's not a good thing and so we'll just I'd say if there's one expectation is just to continue to try to get better each and every day. Uh, our win over Warwick early in the season. Uh, getting my first dunk. Uh, cheering on the RC team on the bench. Shooting against his own defense. Uh, getting some more dunks in game. My offense. Uh, finish on top of the mid 10 and make it further than we did last year. I agree. Uh, for JV, I want to try to win out and be competitive. Hi. <laughs> 